Greetings to all and sundry. This is Chancellor North Wales. Time for another Chancellor's View. I hope all you guys are keeping safe. Um, I hope you're not finding the lockdown too unbearable. Um, I'm now officially on holiday for two weeks. We've moved our summer shutdown from uh, July to uh, April. Bit of a jump. Um, I consider myself very fortunate. I don't just have the man cave. I've also got work I can be doing. And gives me some time uh, for some writing during the daytime working on the book. That's been proceeding quite nicely. Uh, has also affected the modelling, but fair dues. Uh, so now I'm able to do some writing in the morning and then give myself some time in the man cave in the afternoon. Uh, out here in Wales, we've seen our local police also becoming a... Uh, a Welsh border patrol force stopping cars coming into Wales and uh, the area going to lock down to visitors which I suppose is kind of understandable but something I never imagined that we would see so these are certainly interesting times for all of us and I do hope that you guys out there are keeping safe keeping sane that you're able to give your partners and each other some space in order to avoid domestic tensions and other such problems and I consider myself very fortunate that I've got this space here and have uh, moved my work environment to the uh, dining room table so I'm able to work for them, separate out things. Uh, in terms of projects for well, the group build, Pure Flight group build now has come to an end. The uh, Pure Flight group build <coughs> page <coughs> on Facebook is now um, just open as Pure Flight, so it's a Facebook group to post your non-military and non-heavy commercial aircraft. There's no military aircraft and nothing like 747s, 737s, stuff like that, but certainly I would encourage things from your light domestic airlines, your regional airlines, things like that, lighter, smaller commercial aircraft, the turboprops, single engine stuff, the business jets, crop sprayers, ambulance helicopters, all that kind of thing, we can pop in there, also scientific aircraft as well. So an opportunity uh, just to put in general aviation, aerobatics and sports aircraft uh, and to create a <coughs> group specifically for that. So um, my own projects, as I say, I finished now my uh, Pure Flight uh, builds and uh, all my build videos are also done and they're up on my channel you can follow some of them through uh, take a look feedback as always is appreciated it's been great to see some of the builds that have been going on guys um, following the modeling channels and some absolutely brilliant work out there and i will be doing another video that um, discusses that a bit more as well so now it's time to move to the next project and this is a buddy build with my modeling friend tony espinosa in mexico and we are both going to be building the tuple of TU-4. And as the base for it, is this. The Academy B-29. Now I'm going to be doing an unboxing video for this uh, kit. I've also taken unboxing photographs. And uh, I have with it... And I normally don't do this, but I bought a whole load of the extras, uh, resin, masking sets, photo etch, and a major resin conversion set, so, along with additional decals. I've also topped up on, thankfully before the lockdown kicked in uh, heavily, I topped up on um, Vallejo Metal Air, Metal Air Varnish and other modeling products. So I'm fairly well stocked up on paints, glues, fillers <coughs> for this. And I've been happy to see that Hannon's is still operating. So if things do come to head, I can still mail order for some projects. So that's the most immediate first project uh, happening. And that I'm going to be diving into very soon. There will be... Uh, I'll post updates on the Soviet Russian uh, Facebook group. Uh, so Soviet Russian scale modeling, which is my favorite modeling uh, group on Facebook, particularly just down to the subject matter they do. And um, I'll see how that 
goes, I'll also be attempting to do an unboxing video for this. That might prove rather entertaining. Um, I've figured out ways of doing a camera setup. Now that's been one of the things I know on my recent vids, I've gone over much more to the photo series and less of the videos. I've just really found it difficult to do a camera setup that I'm happy with that doesn't really mess up my work area. Um, that doesn't make it too hard to work. Um, and I've been struggling to do that, finding things that I can stand in on. Probably I do need to buy a dedicated uh, camera and stand and all the rest of it because all this stuff is just done on my Samsung phone but we'll see how I can improve that setup and I will try and include some video footage for this TU4 build, tuple of TU4 build. So after that what have I got in mind and certainly a project for this year and this is something I've been chewing on for a while will be just to do something that moves away from um, uh, the Russian subjects. F101 Voodoo. And that's going to be on the display base, in flight, <laughs> taking on fuel from this bird, a KC... 97. So again, luckily I do have most of the resources. I may have to buy in some uh, stand bars, uh, as in a um, clear plastic bars or metal bars, something like that, to act as, as the display stands. I've got wood, I've got varnishes, I've got paint, and other bits and pieces. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a printer that works. <laughs> Because uh, I would have printed off a uh, Google Earth view of somewhere over the United States, but too worried about that. Uh, so I am thinking, and I looks the way this uh, lockdown quarantine is going, it may well move on to that. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, so two builds coming up, TU4 top of the list, and that's going to be started on very soon uh tony he's got himself the same kit um he's going to be doing more conversion work for the extra bits and pieces i'm going to be going through that i've got decals i'm not happy with the size of the red stars because this thing had big red stars on it when you consider it operated at the same time as the americans operated the b29 and um the british operated the b29 in raf service as the washington so invariably the russian tu4 had very big red stars on it to say rear russians we're not b29s kindly don't shoot at us that kind of thing i think it's more for their own air defense than it was for ours but i'm still not rather happy with the size of the red stars but we'll see how that goes they just use what i've got and i have got extra decals uh for these things it's just they are big stars i've seen how other people have tackled with it and i actually bought the decal set that somebody had else had bought and recommended and i'm still like Ugh. Not overly happy with it, but anyway. Um, so that's next project on its way. I've had serious fun, guys, with this Pure Flight group build. Uh, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed uh, these projects. And uh, it's been a, an absolute pleasure to do. And following your work, uh, Bill's work, uh, Tony's work, and so many others who have contributed and added uh to these and uh, it's really really enjoyed it and uh, i will continue to do uh, some non-military subjects i do have others in the stash and some yeah i am itching to build i've got a little let agricultural bird that is sort of a keeps one of those kids you keep taking down and looking at it Ooh. Maybe get that done this year, I don't know. Uh, I want to throw myself into some bigger stuff and bang out a couple of military subjects before I dive too much into uh, another civilian subject. It's been a good run of civilian stuff. Uh, bearing in mind that also takes into account the Antonov 74. So um, yeah, nearly six, six months worth of modelling devoted to civilian Russian and Eastern European aircraft has been quite good to be honest 
so that's where we're up to and uh, I will it's coming to 10 minutes on this video wobbled on for quite a bit so there will be other updates there will be other vids going on and other chat discussions other stuff getting done so guys I will bid you all uh, happy modeling stay safe stay healthy uh, follow whatever local bylaws and lockdown rules are being applied as best you can uh, we do want to see you guys there commenting we don't want to lose anyone in our modeling community to this um, Corona 19 um, so guys as always <laughs> take care God bless. This is Chancellor North Wales signing out.